Ever since I purchased the ROG Ally on Best Buy sale for $600, I really didn't know what to expect, but ever since, it has probably been my favorite handheld that I've ever held on to. And with that being said, it is a little bit more different than the Steam Deck running Linux, aka SteamOS, designed to run games straight off the bat off the Steam Deck machine. And with this, the ROG Ally does have something to mimic it called the Armory Crate, an app on Windows that basically mimics the SteamOS experience. However, the difference is this runs Windows on it natively, meaning this runs touchscreen Windows. However, it is exactly just like Windows on your gaming PC. So you can run games on the Ally that you can't on the deck because it runs Windows. But considering this is touchscreen Windows and it's on the go, and if you don't bring a dock with you, which I will do a review on this, a Vanky dock with USB ports and all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. But if you don't have a dock with you on the go, you will have to run touchscreen windows with the Ally only. Or at least that's what you thought. With this, this is the Gumi Box wireless keyboard. And the main selling point is its portability. It's smaller than the Ally screen, as you see. It opens up just like this. The, the support on it is a little flimsy, as you see. It's literally kind of flimsy. But it's pretty straightforward. It has a on and off switch, a Bluetooth sensory button, and a micro USB port. As you see, it opens up like this. All you have to do is turn the switch this way. As you see, it's already on for me. So it works. The keyboard is average. You know, it works. Very responsive keyboards. No special clicking. It is not a gaming keyboard. It is just to navigate. Now, the trackpad works fine. It's very responsive. I'm not even doing much, and it's already doing, so it's a pretty responsive trackpad for the most part. It is, there is no mouse on it, so you have to tap it, tap it two times to make a click, or you can just do a single click. As you see, it just went in a way that was a single click, but you might need to double click to act as a mouse sometimes because there is no mouse on here. But with that being said, it is a good keyboard on the go. And with that being said, this was only $30. So if you can find a keyboard for less than $30 and smaller than the ROG Ally screen, let me know. But until then, this is going to be the wireless keyboard to take with the ROG Ally on the go. And it is only $30. So I'll leave that link in the description. Now, why do you need this? Well, I feel like just about any game on the ROG Ally you can run without a keyboard. Like Gotham Knights, I can run straight with only the Ally, no keyboard and mouse. However, one time I downloaded Halo the Master Chief Collection on here. Xbox told me to sign in. Usually, the ROG Ally will provide you a virtual keyboard. However, that time it didn't. So I, having the dock, was able to use my keyboard and mouse to sign in. But if I was on the go and I didn't have my dock, I literally would have been fucking screwed. And this is where this comes in. You can just pull out the keyboard, sign in, then turn it off. Use the ally as you wish. And that about wraps up everything I want to in this video. Because this can, this isn't really needed unless for certain moments. If you're running a game where the ally will not provide you a virtual keyboard for some reason like on the halo master chief collection when the xbox told me to sign in and you're on the go this is when this works best so i hope this really tackles everything you guys want to know about this um it there really isn't much else to explain with this keyboard it's pretty straightforward so if you have any questions please tell me in the comments below like i said i will have this linked below if you want this and without further ado, guys, peace.